you know what a binder is? Nope. It's like a thing you put your school papers in? Yeah. 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 I was like, I don't think it's going to be a literal binder. Let's yeah. just make, screw the pancake idea, let's just make binders. Let's make binders. We can make binders and write on bananas. And yeah. we've just got, we've got so many activities for the pencils. rest of the day. Uh. Today. Okay. You so stoked. Yeah. Okay. So I want to eat this. You're gonna eat this. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna make it, and then we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna do two different things with bananas, not just one. Okay. Two different kind of banana pancakes. Okay. We're gonna start uh, by mushing some bananas. Right? Okay. But first, actually, we're going to write a secret message into that banana. Do you know how to do that? No. No. Well, word on the street is that if you take a toothpick, unicorn or not. You can uh, write your name in there, and after a little bit of time, it's gonna oxidize, which means it's gonna turn brown. So basically, you see where the brown bits here yeah. have gotten you know, exposed to the air? Yeah. So that's from it getting bumped and bruised and scratched, and you can kind of take control of that power and make a design, or write your name. Okay. Yeah, do you wanna try that? Did you know that a banana is technically a berry? No. Yours is so much easier to write on that. It side. is. The green banana one. I, I would not think that. I'd think that it wouldn't be yeah, good this one. Because it's like weaker. We're using these bananas two okay. ways in pancakes. The first way is we're going to replace eggs because eggs are moist. They're moist. So when you now. put eggs in pancakes, basically what they're doing is they're a binder. Do you know what a binder is? Nope. So a binder actually is what keeps ingredients together. We're actually going to replace flour the starch in the pancake with banana. I could banana. see how you would use that because it's just like wet flour. So first things first, what we need to do is mash some bananas. Oh my god, that's really hard. <laughs> and that was one of our, our more ripe. Imagine if we were doing the green one. I think it's good. You think it's good? All right, so then know. we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. And so we don't need to add any... Eggs. Eggs, no eggs, because these are kind of like our pseudo eggs. Now we're gonna add our flour to the bowl. We're gonna okay. have uh, one cup of flour in there. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna add three fourths of a cup of milk. Now we've got a quarter cup here, so we're gonna wanna count out three of those, right? Should we do it over it? I think that's a great idea. Do you wanna start mushing that up a little bit and see okay. how Maybe that flour is going to be harder to mix in because it doesn't like the, the liquid like that. Yeah. That's why you got to give that a good stir. Yeah. Well, let's give one nice big scrape on that side. Yeah, at the end. What do you think about adding a little bit of cinnamon to that? Yes. You like cinnamon? Yes, I do like cinnamon. Like to, it's a great because it'll just make it even more sweet tasting without adding more sugar, right? That, that's pretty <sighs> great. It smells so good. It does smell good. Um, so we're going to add a one teaspoon, ma'am. Right, we're gonna do a tablespoon of coconut oil. That looks like water. It does. You ever cook with coconut oil? Yeah, but it's like chunky. It's chunky, right? So yeah. the thing with coconut oil is it depends on the temperature in the room. When your coconut oil is um, hard and you need to re re measure it for a recipe, yeah. you can put it in, um, keep the thing closed, keep yeah. the container closed, and put it in a bowl or a, a pan of warm water, just like in the sink, and it'll melt it like that. And I think the last ingredient we need is a teaspoon and one quarter of baking powder. And we're gonna turn the stove top on and we're gonna turn it up to about a medium. So we'll say 350 on this, but maybe like a medium low heat on the stove top. All right, so we're gonna let that come up and we're gonna put a little bit of so coconut oil on here. Which size do you think we might wanna scoop with? That one. This one? I bet that's a good idea. Oh, but we got some bubbles. Oh, bubbies. We're probably going to want a little bit more bubbles here. Bubbles on the top. Do you want me to flip the first one? Yeah. Okay. Because oh, then feels if good. it's bad, then, then I'll blame it on you. What do you think about that? Does that look bad? No. No. It looks pretty good, actually. Don't have to blame that on me, huh? No. Nope. Dang nope. it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, you wanted to blame me. Do you want to put another one? Um... We should have made, like, unicorn ones. Do you think we could, like, Pretend make a unicorn out of this one? Yeah. Maybe we could just give it a... Yeah, and we can a, just like, do like eyes. What if we just give it an ear? 
Yeah, just give it nearer and give it a horn. Yeah, it's maybe you need a, a little bit more. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. And we need a mane. A mane? It looks like it's done. You think it's done? Yeah. All right. I can see brown on the bottom. You can see the brown? Yeah. All right. Oh, touch my other pancake a little bit. What are you gonna put on your pancake? I'm gonna do blueberry eyes on its oh, eyes. You see what oh, I mean? I'm gonna go like not 100% crazy because I don't want it to like soak. <laughs> Was that like 90% crazy? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar on top of your maple syrup? How are we gonna do this? How are you going hmm. to do this? With the Wait, unicorn. We, with the with unicorn. unicorn? All right, yeah. go for it. Let's make it happen. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, she's brilliant! I can't even handle it. I thought, in my mind, I thought you were gonna do this. Just like a little bit by a little bit. I heard a rumor that you like cracking eggs. Yes. Is that true? Yes. To, for every one banana, we need two eggs. All right. We're gonna beat up that egg. Okay, what do we do now? What do you think you do now? Pour it in. Yeah. And stir that around. Two ingredient pancakes. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. You are skeptical. We're not sure about but this But you know one. what? It, it looks like it's not gonna work, but it probably is gonna work out better, honestly. No, I don't, wow. I don't you're, believe my eyes. You're, you're, you're not believing your eyes. We're not judging bananas by their peels. What do you think? Let's go. I have faith. I think it's gonna be delicious. All right, what do you think? Should we flip this? Yes, but with the okay. other spatula. All right, I want you to get in there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just yes. wish it onto yeah. yours. So you hold this one. Nope, that one. Nope, that, that can't. Okay, and do your best, get in there. Okay. Maybe if we tilt up a little bit. Teamwork, teamwork. Okay. Whoop! Oh. It looks like an omelet. Full broken heart. Or, 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 like a best friend pancake. Best friend sure. pancake. Yeah. Sure. Oh, the heart will just have to live with the turtle slash unicorn. What's this one gonna look like? Do you want to make it the same so that you can really have a side by side taste test? Sure. All right. Do it up. <laughs> Which one are we gonna try first? This one. Get a bit oh, of everything. I. Wait. Three, Ready? two, one. So this one is the one with the flour and the milk. This one has about 10 times the amount this of ingredients. This is really good. You like this one? Now this one is just the two ingredient pancake. One banana, two eggs. Oh, gotta get that sugar. Yeah? Apple fritters and like mashed potatoes, kind of. I don't know. So this one tastes like apple fritters and mashed potatoes. <laughs> and this one tastes, this one definitely has more crispiness, don't you mm -hmm. think? This one's like, it has a lot of crispiness, but the inside is like soft. I mean, that's the kind of thing that if you have bananas and you have eggs, it's like, you don't even need a recipe. No. Could you remember that one? Yeah. One, one banana, two eggs? Like that one tastes like a pancake that you put some bananas in. And this one's like, if you love bananas, you're gonna love this recipe. What do you think? I'm just eating both. You just eat them both? Make right. them both. 